No. All right, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, first off, as always, you want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory up to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, our double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, teach well, and we learn this truth from through the power and spirit of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai. All right, inshallah, unto the whole elect, and peace and salutations unto Ada Akim, pushing his word and truth and sincerity. Shalom. Um, you go ahead and start off whatever you got. Oh, no. Well, I got this. I'll start it off. This is uh, 1 John chapter 4, and I'm going to start at 7. It says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of the power, and everyone that loveth is born of the power and knoweth the power. So basically, us loving each other is also loving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shabbat. Uh, if a brother can grab that, you know what I'm saying, um, in Matthew, where it tells that, when have I, uh, uh, I think it's in 24 or 25, when he's like, uh, when I was, when I was a hungry, he brought me food, and when I was in prison, he fed me, you know what I'm saying, because what did the Lord do, man, he said, greater love have no man than this, that a man give his own life, you know what I'm saying, so, as brothers, man, we we sacrifice what this world mm -hmm. for one another. You know what I'm saying? You might be in your bed, sleep, and a brother hit you up like, "Hey, I, I I need you, bro." You know what I'm saying? And you you know what I'm saying? You probably finna get into something. You like, right, I gotta go. You know what I'm saying? I gotta go make sure my brother okay. You know what I mean? Or you know. Putting off the world, man, to go out there and serve you. How about you, y'all shine the highways and the byways, man? Yeah. You know? Um, I got a little more. It says, uh, verse 9, it says, In this was manifested the love of the power towards us, because that power sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. Herein is love, not that we love the power, but that he loved us. They sent his son to be the propitiation uh, for our sins. Propitiation. Like propitiation. Yeah, the pro propitiation. For yeah, propitiation. For our sins. So, uh, beloved, if the power so loved us, we are also to love one another. Mm hmm. It's kind of, um, I got that Matthew 25 where you were looking for. Uh, it's Matthew 25 and 35. For I was in hunger, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee, and hungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we, it's like when saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee, or when uh, it's like or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee, and the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, and as much as ye have done it unto me, of the least of these my brethren ye have done it unto me. He said of the least. Of the least. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who everybody may perceive not to be as deep. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or not to have as much, you know, as others when it comes to financial or anything worldly. The least, man. Right? The Lord look at that as you being charitable unto him. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's that's the Lord letting you know, man, that you know, you should love all your brothers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The way that you love the Lord. It kind of. Yeah. Or you were one of the love. Right, exactly. Yeah, they always have, they have that, that saying in the world, you know, uh, treat others how you want to be treated. All right, so that that's really important in this truth is basically, you know, um, uh, sacrificing your life for your brother, man. And well, that, that's showing love. Yeah, your time. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, your time. You know, anything that, that uh, basically... Um, that could uh or just just worldly shit and you're and you're putting that off you know to cater to the to the brethren 
Yeah, you overcoming yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To under, like, to, to, because even, even when, like, you dealing with Akian, right, it ain't that we emotional, mm -hmm. but you have to still consider the way that man may think mm -hmm. or how that man may feel. You know what I'm saying? Especially, like, when you looking at the flock and you understanding that this man is in a lower state. So what do the scripture says? The scripture says that uh, give that man exhortation, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Help build that man up. Mm -hmm. What what did you have with Shai tell Peter? He said, Peter, when thou hast established thyself and then built thy faith up, he said, go and, 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 and build uh, 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 and build up your brothers, man. Roughly paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. He said, go build them up, Peter. Mm. And that and that's what we're doing in the spirit because a lot of us come from broken homes, man. Or in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Or we've been betrayed. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And the scripture says, because the love of many, uh, I mean, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So we got to look at each other for that love, man. Mm -hmm. Because the world is wicked. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be able to go to your brother and trust your brother and know that your brother got your back, regardless of whatever, man. And that nobody in anything is not gonna be get in between that, man. Because mm -hmm. that's when you when you allow something to get in between that, that's like getting in between the the uh Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shah and his spirit, man. Mm -hmm. You see me? Nah, that's it. Hey, this is the book of First Timothy, chapter four, verse eleven. It says, These things command and teach. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers mm. in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Hey, because hey, this is something, hey, we, you know, hey, as men, we might think that, uh, you know, we are able to orchestrate whatever is going on in our life. But ultimately, it's all done of the Heavenly Father. Uh -huh. So, but right here is a commandment. That we should all take heed unto, man. A exhorting one another. A all for what? A to uh for the benefit of the body. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And, and to keep going, it says, neglect not the gift that is in thee, mm -hmm. which was given thee by the by prophecy. Amen. It it was the will of the Lord to have his secrets revealed unto his men, man. You know, so for us to neglect those things, neglect the brotherhood, neglect uh um being there for a brother or neglect helping the brother. Hey, the scripture talk about um if a man should compel thee to go a mile, hey, be willing to go twain. Mm. You know, hey, and that's something that we should be willing to do for a uh, believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Is this right here? I'm gonna just keep going to finish it off. It says, uh, with the laying of the hands of the presbytery, mm -hmm. you know, ultimately being Yahweh Shah, man. And we're supposed to be following in the stead of Yahweh Shah. You know, a being a follower of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, truly believing in the miracles that he uh, worked and what he said. He said, hey, for one, he ain't going to call us servants. He's going to call us friends. He said, in greater works than these, then that, uh, ye shall do, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so if we continue to show that same brotherly love that our big brother, Yahweh Shah, would have showed the disciples and every other Israelite, you know, because hey, he didn't only die for uh, the righteous of Israel, but he also died for the wicked, too. You know, so like the brother was talking about earlier about having that compassion upon our people, you know, because mm -hmm. hey, the whole head is sick, man. Ultimately, the whole head is sick, but we are supposed to be examples unto the believers. And so, uh, of course, we're supposed to show that love, that charity, be willing to go two miles with Brother Acts 1. Why? Because our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, would do the same thing, man. And, and we would do it unto him. So why not do it for another brother that believes in him, man? Okay. And it says, um, meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, that thy profit may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself. And unto the doctrine, continuing them. That's why it's important that we continue to uh, practice righteousness, rehearse the righteous acts, man. You know, because hey, in doing that, we're able to help uh, uh, one another out to get get through situations and circumstances. Why? Because we have that experience, and if we don't have that experience, we dedicated our time to learn. Uh, what would this brother do? What did Mark do? What did Ezekiel do? You know, it's just simple. Hey, the scripture told us the things written the four time were written for our learning. And we're supposed to take these things and be willing to teach them to the brother on our right and our left, man. But it says, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Mm -hmm. You know, so, hey, man, hey, that brotherly love, we got to let that continue, man. Like the book of Hebrews like Hebrew said, 
Hey, let brotherly love continue. You know, hey, but first it starts within yourself, man. You gotta yeah. love yourself. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right, because you gotta set a standard, man, mm -hmm. within yourself for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and pray that he help maintain that standard within you, man. Mm -hmm. okay. This is uh, James chapter 2, and uh, going into what the brother was going into, verse uh, 14. What doeth the prophet, my brethren? Though a man say he had faith, and have not works, mm -hmm. can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, hmm. and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give not, it's like you give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doeth it profit? Mm -hmm. Even so, faith, if it have not works, is dead and being alone. So basically, he was saying, like, you know, if a brother or a sister is coming to you, and you know what I'm saying, you, they ask you for help. You know what I mean? Hey, that's our duty, man. We're we're the standard. We're here to help our people, man. Because what do you have a shout do, man? When you have a shout walk the earth, man, the scripture says mark the perfect man. Mm -hmm. When you have a yeah. shout walk the earth, man, what well, what was he doing? He was rebuking. And at the same time as he was rebuking, he was looking at the condition of his people. And the mm -hmm. scripture says that he had compassion over them, man. And then what was he doing, man? He was feeding them. He was healing them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He was doing all type of works of love. Right. You know, charity. You know what I'm saying? So if our Heavenly Father, our big brother did that, man, we're supposed to do what he did because he was the perfect example. Right. You know what I'm saying? He didn't cross his brothers or none of that. You know what I'm saying? He taught them. He taught them how to properly love each other, man, and how to love the people. Cause now, it, you know, us being Israelites, you know, a lot of the times, you know, people be like, oh, they don't believe in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, f them. But here it is, man. Yahweh Shai, as he walked the earth, they, everybody didn't follow him. You know what I'm saying? But he saw the faith in people, though. Some people, like, you know, you got wicked family members that might be hardcore Christians, man. You know what I'm saying? But they got faith, just mm -hmm. not according to knowledge. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's up to you to give the example of how to work with that faith. Because mm -hmm. the Christian church don't teach them that. <laughs> you right. know? Yeah, just, like, we were, like we were saying earlier, bro, they're, they're lost sheep. Good. You know, and the false, uh, false prophets, they're the shepherds, you know, leading them, in his, uh, leading them astray. You know, that's why, you know, Lord, when we are those men, you know, uh, set up to to just act as uh, servants up to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, as um, you know, shepherds trying to bring the sheep in onto that one fold. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and uh, you know that's why we gotta have compassion, you know, upon those because hey, the Lord didn't come for for the righteous man; He came for the sick. You know, and we're all sick with sin. All right, that's why we gotta have mercy. That's why David was so mighty because he had he showed mercy. All of the time, because mm -hmm. when you look when you look at the knowledge the Lord gave us, right? You realize when you first get in this truth, damn, I've been wicked my yeah. whole life, my whole life. You didn't even know mm -hmm. how wicked you was. Like you knew to a degree, you knew you wasn't the best person in the right. world. But it's like, damn, I feel short like this. Mm -hmm. And so the scripture tells us what? To seek him 10 times more, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Once we found him, you know what I'm saying? Seek his face 10 times more. And when we look at our people, you got to realize, man, at one point in time, you was just like them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody uh, everybody starts off somewhere. So how can you judge that man, you know, knowing you were in the same predicament? You were in the same shoes as him at one point. You know, you were still heathen in the world, you know, catering to the flesh mm -hmm. and walking after the ways of the heathen. Right, but when that when that word hit you, you know, when the spirit of the Lord came up over you, you started walking different. That's why you got to be patient. You got to be patient with the brethren, and and try to teach them to the best of your ability. You know, if that's your lot. Long mm -hmm. suffering and patience. Yeah. Right. Fruits of the spirit, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got, you got. Oh, oh yeah, but um, I mean, yeah, man. Uh, this is our uh, first. I just read the uh, first John. It's First John chapter three and eighteen it says, "My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, 
hey, you see, it's a thing, man, you know, because I hear y'all talking about the mercy and all of that. And yeah, we are supposed to have mercy and compassion, you know, but man, brotherly love is only geared to the brothers and the believers, man. That's what y'all got to realize. It's a believer and there's a non-believer. Right. The love that you show, I'm not going two miles for some nigga that don't believe in your house shot. I'm sorry. Yeah. It, it, I mean, it's impossible. But I guarantee you, so finishing the scripture said, but indeed and in truth. If my brother, rather, rather this man just came in the truth yesterday or today, if my brother say, man, I'm in need of this, I'm in need of that. Hey, because, hey, these people, hey, as far as I know, I'm a heathen until the Lord proves otherwise, man. Hey, these people in the world are not trying to repent. We are in the last days. This truth has been out there. We are getting to the point where, like you said, we got to be examples, but that don't mean we have to be companions of the, 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 the people in the world, man. Right. Hey, those people are just people. Your family, that's not even your family. Those are just relatives, man. But your family, like Yahweh Shah said, he said, for whosoever do the will of my father who is in heaven is the same as my mother, my brother. And that's, those are the ones that we are supposed to show that love and that compassion and accept him from his flaws. But there ain't no way in the world I'm accepting my cousin Ray Ray still sitting up smoking black and mouth, playing 2K all day and on day, he ain't did shit for life. For even for himself, I'm showing him the same love as I show my brother, man. And that's what, what we really need to realize, man. Hey, the, the, the love that we learn from this world is not love. But the love of the most high is love, man. And that, and that, and that brings me to this other scripture. He said, hey, well, um, who throw, lay down his life for his friends? Hey, the brothers was talking about the sacrifices that we make, man. On the Fridays, on Saturdays, on Sundays. Hey, going out on the highways and the byways trying to compel our people to come back into the ways of the Heavenly Father. The creator of all. That's what we that's what we sacrifice. But there's no way in the world I'm finna sacrifice two hours and, and, and close to four hours of my time of the day to go talk to my wicked ass cousin them that's been smoking do dirt in them, playing 2K in the basement. And I know their ass was there last week. I mean, I, I was on the highway last week. They was there two weeks ago. I was on the highway two weeks ago. I'm not finna go spend two to four hours with them. Sitting up talking about, oh yeah, bro, this that. Oh yeah, but I love you. Nah, man. Because that's not love. Love is telling them, hey, bro, put that shit out. Mm -hmm. You're killing yourself. Read the back of the package. And that's what we're doing as we go out on our highways and the byways, as we continue to be brothers to the, the ones in the congregation. We're showing them the ways to be. The brother said, uh, he was mentioning something earlier. He said, mark the perfect man. And that is what we're supposed to be doing. And if these people are not doing that, then guess what? I cannot call them my brother. I cannot treat this woman as my sister or this man as my brother if he don't even know how to love himself. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, just to add on what you're saying, bro, because, you know, because um, they're friends of the world and being a friend of the world, they're enmity with the Most High. And mm -hmm. if those, if they're enemies with the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, they're enemies to us at the end of the day, really, ultimately. Mm -hmm. Right? And that's why Proverbs 13 and 13. It reads, whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, but he that fear the commandment shall be rewarded. You know? Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, the uh, the hopeful elect, we're, we're, we're trying to reap that reward. You know, we're trying to build up that spiritual bank account. Yeah. You know, you're not, we're not worried and focused on on the world and, and the uh, the lust of the flesh. Mm -hmm. You know? But, um, again, again, we're trying to we're trying to bring our people. That's, that's showing the love. Yeah, like you were saying. That's showing the love, really trying to um, bring them back into the fold. Well, you, know? you know, yeah, I I said it too, though. He said, uh, love thy enemies, too. Yeah. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you say, you know, the Lord said that uh, then you shall be called, you know, friends instead of servants, what was his commandments, man? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's that's how we're going to, that's how we're going to, be called friends and not servants because Yahweh Shah said things right out of his mouth you know what I'm saying though he despitefully used you you know and thing and so on and so forth man right. you know yeah. what I'm saying because it is and you know what it, it by being it, even like you know when you even look at uh the unbelieving husband or the unbelieving wife man mm -hmm. the scriptures tells you what 
mm -hmm. you might convert their mindset yeah, that's true. by watching your actions. Yeah. You know? Yeah, not to say you're gonna curse them out, you know, right away and and just be a fucking asshole to them and shit. Yeah. But you know. I'm going here back to these scriptures though. Uh this is uh first John chapter four and it says uh twelve. It says, no man hath seen the power at any time. If we love one another, the power dwelleth in us, and mm -hmm. his love is perfected in us. See? He says, hereby know that we dwell in him and he in us, because he hath given us of his spirit. And as the brother said earlier, he said, uh, he said, even the Lord died for even the two-thirds, man. Because um, why? You know, at the end of the day, it, it's all for the elect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the end of the day, man, the two-thirds is going to come through the loins of the elect, man. Right. And then they're going to be able to inherit the kingdom of heaven. And then they're going to be in their right state of mind, man. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be, you know what I'm saying, with them fleshy hearts instead of them stony hearts, man. They're going to have a heart of flesh. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Yahweh was shot, man. He, Yahweh, so like, Yahweh thought of everything. Everything was already, you know what I'm saying, planned out, man, for the Lord to, to do the things that he was going to do mm -hmm. for the for the nation of Israel, man. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Because he said, uh, what, that uh, he, would, he would not put an end to them, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's, you know, even though, like, his love is going to be that ass whooping he gave them. Right. You know, Two-thirds when they get them um, thermonuclear missiles, that's going to be their ass whooping. Mm -hmm. But, you know, what happens after a child get their ass whooped? They learn their lesson. Right. And they, and they, you know what I'm saying? They behave. Right. They get right. They get right. Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the, uh, that's the rod of correction. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That the Lord is going to be, uh, handing these people, man. God. And that goes yeah. to show you how, how powerful his mercy is. You know, his mercy yeah. endures forever. Yeah. You know, but yeah, again, we know that the two, two thirds of our nation ultimately going to get cut off on this side. Right. But they're going to come back righteous in the kingdom. Yeah. You know, we're winning through our loins. Man, and we and us, you know, we just gotta pray that the Lord deal with us that He don't like the brother said earlier, Basharia, man, that the Lord don't take that spirit away from us. Mm. See, you no, know, now when you know what you know, it brings a sense of humility mm -hmm. over you because you afraid of what the Lord will do for to you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, and that's that's the mindset we have to have, man. We have to be afraid of what the Lord will do to us by not being, uh, you know proper to people that's even in the world man mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying they gotta see something to look at man they gotta the scripture says let your light so uh shine so the people may see it man mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying that's what we do we teach it but that's also going for your everyday walk of life as well God, i was about to say that you know what I'm that's saying? applying the law statutes and commandments to your everyday life mm -hmm. that's what that is not walking with some niggas just because I'm gonna let my light shine upon y'all. I'm gonna walk with y'all. Right. Like, nah, 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 nah. It's just you carrying yourself. Right. It's just wherever you go, it's how you carrying yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, I'm gonna keep on going. It says, uh, verse 13. It says, Hereby know that we dwell in him and he in us because he has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Yahweh Shad is the son of the power, the power dwelleth in him, and he is in the power. Yeah, and that's the yeah, believers. Yeah, because yeah. you know, you know the Lord, you know, he asked Peter, he said, Who do you who do you think I am? Peter says, Some man say that you this, some man say you're a prophet, some okay. man say you're Elijah from the death, you grave, John the Baptist. You know, who do you say I am? He said, I think you I say you're the son of the of the most high. And he was like, yeah, he said, only way you could have known that is if my father would have gave it to you, man. Right. You know what and I'm then, saying? And then just to further clarify that world being, you know, Israel as a whole. Because, you know, only the kingdom of heaven is meant for the Israelites. You know, Isaiah 45 and 17, that world, you know, being consisted of them so-called Negroes, uh, so-called black people, uh, Latinos and Native Americans, along with the speckled bird, you know. Where the spirit bears witness that they're the children of the most high. Cause, cause you gotta think, right? Those that was in the know back then, right? Yeah. Even you know, well, in the inheritance, excuse me, they was in the inheritance of uh, the kingdom back then because they still had parts of Israel. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Those that help come back and build, you know, Israel and Jerusalem. Uh-huh. Some when they got out of them captivities, they came back to the land. And they rebuilt. Yeah. They re- they split the land and parted it amongst you know themselves. They wasn't receiving the Israelites that stayed. Mm-hmm. In them um, different lands and, and was still following them in heathen customs. Mm-hmm. They wasn't receiving them. Mm-hmm. But what was Paul like? Paul lot was mm-hmm. go was to go talk to them yeah. and, and bring them into the fold. God. Like, no, nah, the Lord see y'all can you know what I'm saying? That's symbolically what we are. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're we're that sim- we're the symbol of of the Gentiles being brought back to the fold, man. God. You know what I'm saying? Cause wow, we fell, we fell out of the faith as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We grew up in these heathenistic customs. You know what I'm saying? Celebrating these holidays. You know, popping other men's women, selling drugs, gang right. banging, mm-hmm. whatever you was doing in the world, right? Mm-hmm. But the Lord had called us out of the world. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And so now, since we understand these people on a on a level where, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We understand them hand and foot. Oh, we know. So basically, you right, the brother right. You know, you're not supposed to cash your pearls before swine. Right. See, now that's the, the that's the that's the balance of it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So we're not gonna. We see a person that don't want to get it. We're not gonna keep coming to you with it. Like one yeah, or two yeah. ammunitions, we are gonna reject. You're gonna wipe that. Uh, you're gonna wipe that dust off your shoulder and your shoes. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't just go back. Yeah, you can't. Back yeah. and forth, back and forth, knowing that he's not trying to repent. He or she. He or she. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're not, we're not finna, we're not finna vex ourselves. Cause basically mm-hmm. when you wrestle with a pig, you know, the pig love being in the mud. Right. You're gonna get dirty with that pig, man. Exactly. We ain't we ain't doing that. That pig at home. You feel me? <laughs> that pig love it down there. You know what I'm saying? But us, we we're gonna we're gonna the scriptures tells us tell us what to be holy, man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we're gonna be separate. We're not finna be hand in hand, you know what I'm saying, joined to them on their folly. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But whenever we in the presence, they gonna understand our presence is different from their presence, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They gonna they gonna see that light like some like when you at work or when you you know, anywhere, they gonna be a little different. Yeah, they're you know gonna see saying? the way the way you carry yourself and and that conduct and the way mm-hmm. you present yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna uh. be different. You know, than just a, a, a nigga in the world. You know and in the spirit, you know, sometimes you'll be dropping little nuggets here and there. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. You don't go all the way into it. You just, you just get them something to think about. You know what I'm saying? A little spiritual little seed, little seed, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Drop a little seed on them. Like, did he just quote the scriptures? You know what right. And then, then that person sitting there meditating on that, like, I never heard it like that before. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But you're not, you're not trying to. You making them, you fishing, man. Right. You giving them the bait. You know what I'm saying? Trying to reel them in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. facts. Yeah. Facts. This is uh, verse uh, 14. And I'm going to read it again. It says, uh, and we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Yahweh Shai is the Son of the power, the power dwelleth in him, and he in the power. And we have known and believed the love that the power hath to us. The power is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in the power and the power in him. Because the whole law is really off love. Right. And when you think about it, man, when you, the scripture says, Thou shalt not kill, mm-hmm. thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not lie, thou shalt not covet, thou mm-hmm. shalt not uh, 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 commit adultery. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All of these things is things that you wouldn't want done to you. Exactly. You want nobody lying to you. You want nobody stealing from you. You want nobody popping your wife or looking at her in, in, you know what I'm saying, in a lustful manner like you want her. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't you wouldn't want, you know what I'm saying, thir- things happening to you. And that's what the law, that's why the Lord said it. All the, the law hang on the on the, on, the, uh, on on love, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Love thy neighbor as thyself. All of it, all of it, because why? It's, 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 it's a way of living life. You know what I'm saying? We walking in these, and even when people don't, you know, reciprocate that same energy with us, okay. we still give them that energy. Because you know what? Because the Lord told us to do it, man. Okay. And two, you do it because it's naturally in you. See, it's something that has to be in you, right? Mm-hmm. Because you, you gotta, you gotta have that. And the Lord said, "What? Them people was they gonna heap hot coals on their own head, man? 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We, you know how the Lord feel when He love you and you showing that love to somebody that's like don't respect you or don't love you, right. and they constantly disrespecting you. The Lord looking at that person like, look at this fucking nigga, man. Mm-hmm. This person ain't doing nothing but showing you love, but yet you still being fucking disrespectful. The Lord get upset with that, man, mm-hmm. and He judge, and that's why that's why they get judged the way they get judged. Right. That's see, and then the scripture says, "What? Well, uh, uh, laugh not when thy enemy fall, man." Uh, lest the Lord uh, take his wrath off him. A person that actually don't want a person to be judged like that, they're not going to laugh. I'm like, damn, that's fucked up. You're going to be scared. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it can happen to you. Uh, you see was, what I'm saying? I was just thinking, like, you know, like uh, being in school, like in high school or middle school, the teacher will mm-hmm. uh, correct somebody, yell at somebody, you know, send them out to the hallway. You know, it, it, that's your friend. Or even just a, a random whatever. You start laughing and jumping. Mm-hmm. That teacher's gonna get on your ass and be like, oh, you wanna go next? Jeez. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas cracking jokes like it together. Can't, like, that's gonna be you. If, you know? Like, why are you laughing at that? And somebody see you laughing. Yeah. What you laughing for? Yeah, exactly. You better yeah. get your, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah, that's, that's, that's us naturally being with, you know, of our Heavenly Father, man. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? We we set up like that, man. This is it's more to it, dog. Let me finish it off. Because, uh, for now, seventeen herein, our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. Because when we out here teaching to these people, man, we're we're, we're letting it be known. Hey, this is what we stand for. And mm-hmm. hey, we love the Lord. Uh-huh. And when they see, hey, you gotta you gotta see when people see us saluting each other, man. When we out there on the line, man, they be like. And we be hugging each other. We be giving each other embraces. Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Them people look at us like, damn, I wish I could. Right. <laughs> I wish I had that. I wish I had that. Because <laughs> Jake, that's the face that our people through the curses, we ain't been loved properly. Right. You know what I'm saying? We've been in the curses, man. It says, uh, verse 18, there, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment, he that feared is not made perfect in love. Because you understand, my brothers will never cross me out. My brothers will never snake me. My brothers will never do wrong unto me. Mm-hmm. You got you, you can close your eyes and fall backwards. Because why? You trust in your brothers, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, the scriptures do say, you know what I'm saying? Trust not in every brother, for he shall surely supplant. Mm-hmm. Now, you still got you still got certain men that's, that crept in under well. Yeah. So, you still got to watch out for these things. It's not saying that, you know what I'm saying, be foolish. Mm-hmm. Don't don't know that this man has an agenda. But yet, no, it's still like, it's still like, what do you, how should I do with Judas, man? He brought Judas in the fold and he showed Judas how to be a brother. Mm-hmm. So, when Judas betrayed the Lord, man, Judas was compelled to kill himself. Because that guilt, yep. you know what I'm saying? And them demons was plaguing his ass, man. Because you, you harm somebody that ain't do do nothing but show you love. Okay. And that's and that's and that's how that's 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 gonna be the judgment of this world, man. We're giving these people love when we going out here teaching them these these words, man. Okay. Telling them what they need to do to repent and save their souls, man. Mm-hmm. And that's on them if they don't want to do it. But we still going to go out there with patience and long suffering yeah. to let them know until the Lord, like the brother said, occupy, man. Mm-hmm. Until this time, yeah. occupy yeah. until he come, man. That's another one. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and that's what the Lord commanded us to do, to go out on the highways and byways and, and preach his word. You know, bid them to the marriage. Ooh. You know, Lord willing. Yeah, but it's all for the elect's sake. So only the hopeful elect are going to be able to receive this. Mm-hmm. And actually repent and come up out of their ways, out of their wicked ways. Because the yeah. Lord going to send them your way. Yeah. Just like the Lord woke us up, man. Mm-hmm. It was the Lord that sparked that that, 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 that spiritual insight in you, man. You was like, whoa. You yeah, it gave you life. Hard. Yeah. It gave you life. It gave you that breath. Yeah, he says, yeah. before this truth, you were the walking dead, you know, like a fucking zombie. <laughs> that kind. Just going out to the world. <laughs> Following the trends that Esau was putting out there because our people was trendy ass people. Exactly. You know? And it all goes back to the lost sheep. They need a shot. You kind. You know? I'll finish it off. It says, uh, verse 19, we love him because he loved 
because he first loved us. Mm -hmm. If a man say I love the power and hate his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love the power whom he hath not seen? And this commandment have we from him that he who love loveth the power love his brother also. Mm -hmm. So now, you know, that's why the Lord hath that all uh, uh, in, in, in the book of Matthews, man. You know what I'm saying? The 18th chapter. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to go to your brother and confess, like, what's going on with you within yourself right. towards that brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The scripture says that if that brother, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let's just grab it. Because this is what brotherly love is, man. See, we, we're we being taught to be men. Mm -hmm. We're not taught to be, you know, last boys. Right. We taught, we taught to, to, to follow what the Lord told us to do, man. And what did he say, man? This is Matthews 18 and 15. It says, Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, because it can be anything against according to like how you may think. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, hey, I feel disrespected. Mm -hmm. Let me go holler at this man. Right? It says, if he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. Uh -huh. So if he if he acknowledged, even if he didn't know that right. he, 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 you know what I'm saying, transgressed against you. If he'd be like, damn, bro, Salafi, I ain't mean to do that. Mm -hmm. It wasn't no ill will. You know, he didn't. The Lord be like, okay. You know what I'm saying? And then you gained your brother. Uh -huh. But it goes further into it. It says, but if he will not hear thee, then with thee, one, it says, then take with thee one or two more. One or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. Mm -hmm. So now, you're like, hey, look, I came to this man, proper protocol. I'm trying to let him know what he's doing is offending me. And this man is like, you know what I'm saying, coming at my character. Right. So now, the next step is to take two or three witnesses to see, to let them see right. this man disrespect you and not care about what he's saying to you or what he's doing to you. Mm -hmm. Right? And then what else? It says, it says, and if, 17, and if he shall neglect to hear them, because even they're going to be like, all right, bro, like, I get where you might be coming from, but you still offending your brother. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Now, now he like, now it says, and they, now they telling you you shouldn't do that. But if he neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a publican. Yep. So this is a man that knows that he's an Israelite. And he's not following proper protocol as far as being a brother. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, brothers is coming to him and letting them know, like, hey, bro, you, you tweaking. But this man don't want to admit to his fault. Because you know what that goes into? It goes into pride. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I'll turn that back on. No, you good. You good. You know, that goes into pride, man. So, yeah. so the Lord give us many examples, you know what I'm saying, on how we should be with mm -hmm. one another. Mm. It's, it, 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 it's, but it was more to that. Uh, it was more to that twenty-five. That you, uh, because this is this is the thing, right? You have men like this as well. Where'd you leave off at on? Uh, uh, believe, I think I just. Mm, I'm not mm. sure. Yeah. It's uh, I'm gonna start it. Uh, I got it. This is uh. 41. Mm -hmm. Matthew 25 and 41. Then shall he say, say also unto them on the left hand, depart from me. Ye cursed unto everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels, the deceiver, and those that follow after him. Right. right? It says, For I was in hunger, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. That goes into Ezekiel, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be, you gotta cover your sins, man. You gotta get the blood off your hands by telling them right. what they need to hear. You know what I'm saying? And if mm -hmm. that person fall into to, in wickedness and they die and they sin, that's on you because you didn't tell them. Right. That's why the Lord has prophets, man. He's mm -hmm. a fair power. Yeah. He says, uh, he says, uh, verse 43. I was a stranger and he took me not in, naked and he clothed me not, sick. And in prison, and he visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee in hunger, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? 
See? And then two, the scripture says, what? Uh, 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 entertain uh, strangers unaware because they might just be an angel. Yeah, be an Roughly angel. paraphrasing. Okay. Okay. You, don't, you don't know who you're encountering on your day-to-day -day walk. Mm -hmm. Some people you might, you know what I'm saying? And that's why you got to be mindful. Okay. That's why you have to be mindful. Yeah, the Lord gave us the spirit of discernment to know rather or not, right? At the same time, too, though, you still got to entertain, you know, somebody that's that's just talking to you and out of nowhere, they just struck a conversation. Y'all right. just, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then they ask you, like, hey, you know, I need a little help, can you? And the Lord, you got it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's in your will. It's in your power. You be like, all right, huh. You know what I'm saying? And that's your own love. You have a good day. So now, look, you know what's going to happen? Even if they is of the world, they're going to see you teaching on that corner one day. The Lord probably had on walk right past you and look at you and be like, I remember you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And because of your actions, now they like. I'm going to see what you're going to say. Yeah. Now they like, they like, oh, you, you teach the Bible? Yeah. Oh, sh now they understand why your actions lined up with what you did. Mm -hmm. Now they see it. Now they're like, oh, this man really liked that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. really liked that. He really loved his people. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, verse 44, I mean, uh, 45. Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it not unto me. Right. Not, ye did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. We're gonna that's why second Peter's tell us like what manner of conversation shall you be, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. spoken of, man. Well, what is people gonna be able to say about you? Mm -hmm. Not even people, the angels, because the angels the one report back. Like, you know what I'm saying? We we get our blessings by many things, man. And one of them is charity. You know what I'm saying? But uh yeah, charity edifies, man, and, and that's that's brotherly love. You can wrap up with that. And with that, man, we want to give all praises, glory, worship, and honor to Yahweh, 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 the Bible, the Apostles, and the Elders, the Great Millstone, Shalom, to the truth, and say, I come out there preaching and teaching this truth, the truth, sincerity, and you sisters, man, that's listening. All right, let brotherly love continue, and Shalom. Shalom. And a Baba Ball. Baba Ball. Come.